Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to John's Daily Calls. We're currently 14-1 with the with the Mega Squad right now. Uh, guys, this is the John Daily Calls where I tell you guys exactly what I'm trading, where my, my mind is, uh, all that type of stuff, and I give this out to you guys before we go live and before content. If you guys subscribe to twitch.tv slash John Sams, if you don't subscribe, sometimes you see this video just a little too late. But I do want to connect on something yesterday. Um, I mentioned about the pro just before we go into anything. I talked about the pro live. Now, apparently this promo ends early. It ends on Wednesday. So given that, uh, there's a there's going to be a little bit of a twist. We most likely, today is most likely going to be the cheapest that we're going to see these cards today. Okay, so... Um, Going off of that, um, you may want to invest if you have extra coins into that type of stuff today. So my favorite one is going to be Siamanka just because uh, Siamakan, Siamakan, um, and the reason why is one, it's paired with Anders, two, it's a French uh, it's a French Bundesliga center back that could potentially go up to like an 87, um, 88 potentially. If I, and so it's going to be a wildly decent card, most likely with minimum of probably getting, he's probably going to get to pass the group stage. So, uh, I would say he's going to get two, two wins minimum. So he's going to go up to 86 regardless. Now, here's the thing is the only thing we have to really worry about is does this card, is this card affected by already a influx of, of investors off of where they believe his value of of being thinking, oh, he's going to go to 86, maybe 87. Yes, yes, that's already happening. Now, there will there still be some momentum, some hype in it? Yes, there will be. But the, the thing about it is if it goes up two points, it should have a little bit of momentum underneath it. This card actually becomes really decent. Um, the only thing is he doesn't have Anticipate Plus. He doesn't have... If this had even just the base anticipate and block, it would be complete. This card would be on a whole nother scale. But, you know, that's why it's still a cheap card, still able to trade on it, still decent. Now, there's some other cards here that are good. I haven't done my due diligence necessarily on who these are all paired with. But typically, guys, um, somebody let me know. Guys, this is supposed to be an open discussion. And this is this is essentially what starts our discussion on the Discord every day. So if you guys know... Um, who these are all paired with give me tell me you guys who your top three players are that you believe will go to the final because we don't want to just stop at uh you know one win two wins we don't want to do that we want to go to the final because that will potentially give us the longest return the highest potential rate of return because of the you know the longevity of the card so these matches start i believe on friday um that's uh i believe so i believe they start on black friday um that that is uh and so anyways basically what i'm trying to say guys is now's the time to buy them uh the information is uh uh the the thing about it is usually you want to buy stuff like this on thursdays because of the promo packs and all the supply hits you marquee matchups xyz all hits us now um if there are you if there is ucl ma or marquee matchups on tomorrow the market could stay down a little bit uh just a little bit longer i think they come out on mondays if the i, I believe uh, and i believe we do have um ucl tomorrow so just be aware that it's either if uh, we if we do get the marquee matchups tomorrow, they could have another buy point. But then from there, we should see a, a decent rise. So, um, you know, Kolo Moani was already at a million coins. He's coming down. Uh, he's come down cons significantly overnight. This is one I would also keep an eye on if you guys have that big money. So, like, if uh, if you guys are in the fodder trade, the next thing you know, Kolo Moani hasn't popped yet just because not as many people are getting in on that. And then you find your trade. You get your – you get we get our pop. We get our pop of the market. Already, guys, those 89s have already pulled right back up to 37. They were down to, like, 34.5, 35. It's just I could not believe how cheap they were. Uh, we got the Peter Schmeichel yesterday, and boom, right? And so what happens if we get uh, the icon pack today could bull this market, guys. If you guys aren't in, I would get in as soon as you can. Um, honestly, there's a chance that if you, even if you have a few extra coins, you might as well just throw them in and then sell off and then get back in type of idea. Just a pump and dump type of strategy, you know what I mean? Um, kind of like a college Saturday night kind of thing, right? But anyways, um, the idea here is these this market should start to bull now. This is, this is kind of, if, if we don't bull from here, 
it's going to frighten me, okay? So that's that's going to be the idea. I've been very patient. We've been very, 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 very patient. But going into the Black Friday hype now, we're coming out of supply. Now, UCL tomorrow, potentially, right? So we still have maybe some supply tomorrow. But Monday, after Monday, we have that Tuesday with no supply, Wednesday with no supply, Thursday and Friday, right? Thursday, people most likely holding packs for Friday. So Thursday, Friday is going to be start when when it's going to kind of get tossed up in the air and volatility come in. I believe Wednesday, the Wednesday prior, they like to drop something big. That's what they've showed us in the past. Or Thursday prior, they like to drop a lot of stuff. So just be aware that we could have a lot of stuff coming. The next week is going to be a big moment. It's going to be an update. So you guys are going to want to tune in every single day. And we're going to be kind of guiding you guys through this as, as we go. As you guys know, we are heavy into fodder. Um, and then our pivot. What's our pivot trade? Our pivot trade is going to be out of gold into pro lives. Now, the pro lives are going to be a little bit risky, right? Uh, we have some stuff going out of packs. But realistically, that's where the money is going to be floating um, in majority of the market. So I'm very interested to see how these how these pan out but there's some really decent cards and and if you think about cards going later on which cards are going to go up the most i believe a card like karamoa later on in the stages not regardless of who they're matched with could grow if this card gets towards that final aspect that final moment here's the thing is a card like this with five star five star is would be a top it would be a top rated card this would be almost as good as as a Tyrion Reed to to a degree with with full pace. If you throw a hunter on him, it's full pace. Max uh, Max Kim style Kim style efficient there. It's uh it this pulls up to ninety. This would pull up to like a 90, 92, 93. This would pull up to an 83, 84, right? Um, and anyways, basically that's what I that's how I'm looking at these. I'm looking at which cards would be the most sought outable, sought out buy the investment opportunities later in the stage and that's where i'd be guiding my market so even a card like deli ali not very many premier league center mids i really like this one this one can be very good especially if it gets pushed right decent play styles doesn't have the first touch doesn't have the the ping pass but it has a lot of stuff that a lot of people would probably enjoy playing with low stamina though but that's kind of the concept. That's why it's floating right around where that uh, that Tiago card is. Tiago is is uh, is right around that price point, just because of the rarity of this type of uh, that center mid position. So, I guess what we're trying to say here, guys, is we are invested into fodder, and then we're gonna try to go and take a trade, kind of like what happened last season. We're gonna take a trade, eighty sixes or higher. And we're going to try to sell on a market on like a Thursday, Friday, maybe, may, maybe even have it, it may, hopefully it stays high over the weekend. We hope, we hope. I can't guarantee you guys. I just, I think we'll hit 45. That's the minimum I'm trying to see. I don't like to go off the price. I always go off momentum. And then um, we're going to try to float those coins right back into something like this. Now, here's the concept I want to talk about though. This is, this is why, this is why you always stay to the end because I, Try to give you guys as much as I can. So here's the thing. If we come into a position like this and it's Thursday and we're at 42K, is it worth to sell yet? If we are seeing a tons of tons of momentum? No, but can we really guarantee the movement from 42 to 40, 55? No, I can't guarantee that, especially on a Friday, Saturday, right? However, it's Black Friday. It's very consistent. So th if there's a time to take risk, it's going to be this weekend. Okay, there's it, if there's a time to hold through the bull market. It is this weekend. And so in my opinion, in my truest opinion, what I believe we should do is take and hold these cards up to that 53. I am not going to wait and try to go to the 60 and try to get lazy on on Sunday. I'm going to try to I'm going to try to get in and out between now and Saturday. I, I, I'm not necessarily going to hold till Sunday, Saturday, Friday, uh, whenever, whenever the, how many, whenever the pretty much, I'm going to try to time the market again to FC Pro. But what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to force myself to sell to get into the FC Pro if I see valuation later. So we'll keep you guys informed. But that's the concept is right now we've been patiently waiting we're going to get into a momentum. I know I've said this like five times today. Today's a big day, though. We're going to get into momentum, 
and then we're going to declare from there. So remember, guys, we never look at the past. We always look at where we're at and where we're going to go. Where, what are the variables in the market and where we're going to go? That's going to give us the best opportunities to go forward. Until next time, guys, my name is John. Don't forget to check us out. If you guys want to watch, uh, watch us play uh, with this squad, you guys can. Uh, we're going to be 14-1. and one. We're going to be playing with this one and on my other account. And we're going to be 11 and 1. So uh, we're going to, uh, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be very fun today. And uh, anyways, we're going to we're try to get two rank ones, two rank ones in the same weekend. Can we do it? Well, you guys come out uh, twitch.tv slash John Simpson. Don't forget, if you guys want to see this before anybody else does, make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to like the video. At least like the video, guys. Please, it helps us out a long time. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you buy right, you never lose. And if you buy with John, you always win. We'll see you in the next one. Actually, we'll see you in about uh, 30 minutes in the live. Deuces.